and new developments in the growing backlash. After a letter went home to families in the Powell Unified School District, it claims that some students and staff have been targeted since the election. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton live in the newsroom. Riel, why are parents angry? Well, Itika, this is the letter that went out to parents. It talks a lot about creating a positive culture where students can flourish. But what parents are upset about is what it doesn't say, why the letter had to be sent out in the first place. The letter went out to parents district-wide Tuesday from Poway Superintendent saying in part, our staff and students have recently been targeted because of their race, religion, or political beliefs, creating an unsafe learning and working environment. Reaction from some parents and students. Everyone's like, yeah, what happened? Like, did, did someone get in a fight? Confusion. It was vague. I didn't understand what, what could have gone on. I wish that it would be more specific and talk about if it was, you know, verbal threats or if there was something else. Deborah Horscott has two children in Poway Unified School District and sits on the PTA board for her daughter's elementary school. She says she'd heard nothing about any post-election issues. Now parents are upset. The vagueness of it did kind of incite some, um, you know, fear and, and, you know, paranoia among some parents. There are several incidences. A spokesperson for Poway Unified says the superintendent felt the letter was necessary after principals from schools around Poway reported an increase in hateful speech and racially motivated bullying. We asked she wouldn't say where or what happened. We didn't think that that was conducive to the healing process that we are trying to really encourage at our campuses right now. But they understand it raises more questions than answers. Well, she tells me the incidents will be handled on a case by case basis, as will the discipline. She says they have also received several calls from parents. She says they will explain to them personally their reason for not being more specific. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.